Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I'm being pulled to the table early for your reading because um, I and I'm getting the chills kind of all over me too. Um, I'm being shown a scene of a movie, okay? <laughs> um, and it's from Ever After, is that the name of it? Ever After with Drew Barrymore. Somebody, I had this in another reading once before and I think they said, I think it's Ever After. It's a Cinderella movie um, and it really tells the story about the mistreatment of, you know, a, a feminine, okay? So anyway, um, yeah, you might find a lot from that movie. It also talks about, you know, people trying to stop the connection, you know, between her and her prince, right? Um, so anyway, um, they're showing me a scene, but we'll get to that in a minute. Guys, I am going to actually give you a tarot card reading, <laughs> right? I've got the cards out. Oh boy, you know how it is, right? Anyway, this reading is for the collective. Um, that means it's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Um, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share, the whole nines. You guys have been absolutely fabulous, by the way. Thank you all so much for your donations, your kind words, your comments, your shares, your likes, your subscribes. If you're new to the channel, hi. Hi, welcome to the channel. I think you're gonna like it here. Go ahead and subscribe. You're not gonna wanna miss the goofy things that I do anyway. Um, and this channel is for adults only. Okay, guys, so, um, and I'll get to the scene in a minute. Let me just pick up on what, because I can't remember all that. They're still showing it to me, and I need to figure out what the person says, okay? But um, you are, someone here has a choice to make, and I feel like there's a lot of fear here making this decision. Um, or cutting people out. You could be cutting someone out or speaking your truth. Um, taking the blindfold off, maybe seeing things how they are and communicating. Um, this could, t you could have an argument or, yeah, I feel like somebody could be even be over drinking this weekend, argue with you, and they'll show their true colors, I feel. This could end up being, you know, a divine uh, soulmate connection too, but I see this as a choice in love. I see this as a choice to make. And, and what to communicate, who to communicate it to, taking your blindfold off so you can see everything clearly, you know, and how to communicate it. See, that's, that's, okay, I'm getting it. Hold on. The movie scene that I'm seeing is the end of that Ever After movie, okay, where the, um, the stepmother who's been literally horrible to Drew Barrymore. Okay, you, you kind of have to watch it. I think I would. Anyway, it's a fabulous movie. But this poor Drew Barrymore man, she's a sweetheart through the whole movie. She's really tough and she is really mistreated in this movie. And, um, you know, it's by people who are supposed to be close to her. All right. And they even like separate her and her prince. And um, anyway, at the end, she ends up marrying the prince, okay? But the stepmother isn't aware of that yet. And she gets pulled into the castle to get questioned on some things, okay? Along with the, the stepdaughter or the stepsister, right? Anyway, Drew Barrymore looks at her, at the, at the person who's been treating her like crap this whole time. She looks at her and, and she says, um, uh, from this point on, um, I'm going to forget about you and I'm not going to think about you anymore, you know. However, for you, um, you know, you most certainly will uh, think about me every day for the rest of your life. And then she asks the king and queen, she's like, your majesties, um, all I ask 
is that you um, give her the same what is it starts with the C is it consideration the same consideration that sh that she bestowed upon me okay and then you know the music is like dun 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 you know because this the, these people who have treated you like crud in the past they know now okay they know now that one they're gonna think about you for the rest of their life you cancer get to move forward and not give them any more thought and as far as their karma all you ask is that what was you know what was given to you the consideration the type of consideration they gave you was it it's not consideration what did she say can't remember anyway the same kind of treatment that they gave you is all that you want sent to them and then the, you know oh boy I'm telling you it's that's the energy that I'm seeing people kind of getting theirs you know cancer people getting theirs and it's poetic justice is it not right poetic justice um i would watch the movie it's ever after with drew barrymore i might even watch it later you know why not i've got it i own the movie <laughs> it's a great movie though i just can't remember you know everything she said your person or people this could be multiple people this could be it doesn't have to be your an ex-lover it could be a friend co-worker i'm really getting the feeling like you've cut so many people out because so many people handed you the scissors okay but in a love reading we're just gonna go with this is your person <laughs> so anyway someone's in regret here over turning their back on a soulmate connection you know over a third party situation they put you in a third party you know they turn their back on you to go to somebody else only for it to fall apart anyway because they can't stop thinking about you this is too many cards though divine yeah you could be dealing with um with a virgo i think this person has a lot of inner turmoil that's what i'm feeling like this is a lot of inner turmoil w what am i going to do should i should i go to cancer or should i not go to cancer what have i done how am i going to get out of this how should i move where should i move like i mean it's just this person's doing a lot of overthinking and they're because it's because they have so much inner turmoil this should i shouldn't i will i won't i you know and this hermit energy it could take a while cancer that's the sad part you know but they want to come in and communicate this people call it immature communication which it is it is but honestly in this case I really feel more like your person just they've over they've overthunk and overthunk and overthunk <laughs> right don't you just want to thunk them yeah um, they they can't they can't do any more thinking here they they need to come in they feel the need to come in um, and communicate but you know the only thing that they can do really at this point is try to keep it upbeat <sighs> really really they're going to kind of try to keep it upbeat casual you know um, non, they don't want to get emotional they want to if anything they want to keep it playful and a little flirty okay um, casual this person really <sighs> they're coming in playful but yeah it could turn passionate at that point because they are being very flirtatious so basically they think and think and think and think and think it's fueled by all of this passion anyway um, and I feel like they kind of start to lose it a little bit uh, and they, they come forward very quickly very very quickly but this is somebody who leaves right away okay they're coming in to communicate 
but they're not there to stay. And with the flirting, remember when I said they kind of want to keep it flirtatious, fun, casual, it could turn into passion very easily. Very easily, especially if they're already schmoozing you right from the start. But this person isn't planning on staying. You know, um, they may still be attached to, I feel like they have some kind of attachment here. Either a third party or... Clarify this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, they're just, they're very immature. This person doesn't have any emotional maturity. They really don't right now, I feel. All they're doing is watching you. Immature energy. Immature energy. Immature energy. And a whole lot of thinking and, and turmoil. I mean, come on, man. It, that, that in itself, overthinking with the turmoil and everything, that in itself is immature. I think this person hasn't really learned their lessons yet, Cancer. But you have. See, with you know, with all this immaturity, yeah, they're coming to you in this energy. This is the universe right here. Okay, this is all the effort that you put into yourself after they after they put you out in the cold. Seriously, I feel like they put you out in the cold and you grew. You worked on yourself in the last cycle. This stuff really ticks me off, man. You worked on yourself in the last cycle, and you grew, Cancer. We all grew together, man. We've been on this ride together. <laughs> okay? I know for a fact you've improved pretty much every area in your life. All right? You're healthier. You're stronger. You're more confident now. You don't let people play with you. You don't let people take advantage of your heart and your love anymore. You know, you've learned your lessons from the last cycle. You're entering into a brand new one that's very, very abundant. You've probably started to notice it already. Your bank account rising. You straightening your stance up. You are strong. Okay? And this is all the effort you put into yourself after this person put you out in the cold or put you down, made you feel like you were nothing. You're everything. You showed it to the universe and you showed it to this person. But where, where, oh, where is the love here? There is, you know, besides what they left behind and what got dumped out, there's no, there's no love here, only passion. That's all that I'm seeing is passion. And I think you require more than that now. You're reaching for things that are a level up because you you've leveled up you've graduated from the last cycle you didn't just close it out you've learned your lessons and you know you're worth way more than immature energy like this playing games again you know you you could be dealing with the king of pentacles here um, an earth sign perhaps this person's already committed to someone else. It's just that these cups are knocked out. All three of them are knocked out in this third party situation, which means they don't have much of a commitment. All the love is gone. But there's no love up here for you either besides the love that they turn their... See, they had a chance at this before. And they turned their back on it. I feel like, me, you know, maybe this, this relationship or commitment that your person has could even be based on sex, I have to say, because there's a lot of passion cards out here, you know? Why is the King of Pentacles out here? And this would be your overthinker, Virgo. Boom, there it is. Virgo. They left your love behind and now they're realizing that they shouldn't have done that 
they shouldn't have done that. I feel a fear from this person to move forward and communicate. I do. I really do. The, all the inner turmoil and the overthinking, I do feel the fear here. But man, if all they've got is this immature crap, and they're still committed, yeah, they haven't walked away from anything yet. They're still in a crossroads energy here. This person's selfish. They don't really do the, you know, this Five of Swords, they don't give a crap about anybody but themselves. And the things that they do to people is usually for entertainment value. Okay? They do this kind of stuff and laugh about it later. And I think that when this person, they, they, they did something really selfish to you. Stabbed you in the back. And they could have been even laughed about it after, like, behind your back. Yeah, because that's the kind of crap this person does. And here they're trying to choose a path. You're making that choice easy. You're like, with this kind of attitude, man, I don't want anything to do with you. For real. I don't want anything to do with you. You stay in this crossroads. Yep. From this moment on, I will no longer think about you. But rest assured, most certainly you will be thinking about me every day for the rest of your life. That's what Drew Barrymore said at the end. Yeah, I mean, at least somewhat. <laughs> you know, I don't know all the words for real. I'm not Drew, you know. Yeah, you're. I, even though this person may come in as a Knight of Cups, you know, this is... Now they're coming in to love bomb you. Oh, but I really do. I do love you. I really do. You know? Oh, you know? No. Once again, the Knight of Cups does not have staying power. And we don't know if that's real love in that cup because we can't see inside it. It could be a shiny little wet turd for all I know. I don't know. But we don't know for sure if it's love. So... You know, I think this person is doing all they can to seduce you and schmooze you. You know, you're, you, I feel like you just don't trust this person anymore because you know the kind of things that they do. You know, you know the kind of things that, that they've done. You know the kind of things that they do. I think this is self-sabotaging their their choices in life, you know? Um, maybe this is them settling because they self-sabotaged um, the choice that they should have made, the path that they should have chose. They sabotaged it because you're, you're like, I'm not wasting my time on this. You know, the Queen of Wands, she doesn't waste her time and she doesn't allow anybody to play any games with her. In this energy, Cancer, I feel like, number one, you are the sexiest queen in the deck. Boom, bam, we'll get that out of the way right away. You know it's the truth. Um, second of all, this Queen of Wands goes after her own happiness. She goes after her own passions, okay? Very focused on what it is that you want. And, and number three, the, I think the biggest one, she doesn't waste her time. She doesn't allow anyone else to waste her time. And she certainly isn't going to allow anyone to play any more games. You know, for real. She, this is a person that's really hard to get to. She is, and she's fairly non-emotional as well. You know, shrewd businesswoman and fairly vicious when it comes to building herself up. You know, and this person wants to come and love bomb you now. They're, I feel like they're going to kind of try anything here, but I feel like they you keep knocking them down. You know, this person wants to come in and tell you how they feel about you, though. And I, I feel like this is something that's going to come very, very quickly. And here's that. Here's another offer. Look, we got, we've... <laughs> 
we've got a page of pentacles, page of wands, page of swords, knight of cups, and knight of wands. I mean, seriously, how many more communication cards do you want? It's just, the they do want to talk to you. They do want to offer some kind of stability here. But the, the simple fact of the matter is that this person still has ties to someone else, I feel. I feel they're still connected to someone else. Okay? And I feel like they self-sabotaged the, the path that they want to take with you. But now you've like you've gotten this queen of wands energy where you quite she doesn't give an f you are not emotional and you really don't give a crap you have passion for yourself your happiness and where it is that you're going and that's about it so you know this person i feel like they're coming to you in, uh, they're trying anything here this is a say anything kind of moment <laughs> Uh, for real this is a try any possible thing that you can to get through to cancer kind of moment okay for real it's it, from somebody who really does not know what they're freaking doing they don't know so they're trying anything say anything this is a say anything situation and it's, it's going to fail, I feel. It's going to fail. This person's missing an opportunity at love. Over a third-party situation that, they, that I feel like they're hanging on to. I don't know why they're hanging on to this. This other part, this other third party, wherever this person... Because you know what? Whoever it is that they're committed to isn't even freaking out here. Like, I think this person really couldn't, couldn't give a crap about where, who they're committed to. They're only thinking about saying anything they possibly can to get you back. Because they know your love was worth freaking everything. Everything. And it was a gift that the divines, they were trying to hand to this person, but your person really needs to open up. Third party situation, look at that. That they, they didn't they didn't open up and take this love offer when they should have. I feel like they got into this third party situation and very shortly after that they realized it was a really bad decision. But they weren't opening up to accept the love offer. Okay. So they're gonna miss it. They're gonna miss it. And so because they missed it the first time, now they're gonna say anything they can anything they can this is literally a say anything situation all right so what's possible yeah possible outcome you're in your queen of swords energy and um you need somebody to approach you correctly with the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth i think in this situation you may be a little bit confused because your, your person is shooting a lot of different types of offers to you. They're, they're literally trying to say anything that they can. And I think you're like, wait a minute. Listen to me. I'm not playing any more games with you. I'm not going to waste my time anymore. <laughs> Fill in the blank. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to stop with the love bombing, the I've been watching you and I don't want to say some things, but no, I, let's play and giggle and hey, let me let me cuddle up to you and get passionate and, and you know what, I'm going to bring stability. You're like, wait a minute, wait, don't sit down, stand up because you may not be able to stay for very long. You need to be completely honest with me. Because see that sword there, Cancer? That's the sword they stuck in your back. And then they left you. This person, what did I say? I think I said it. They abandoned you. They turned their back on you after they stabbed you with this sword. They hurt you so deeply, you had to pull this sword out of your back yourself. Heal alone by yourself and grow by yourself. 
put forth the effort into you by yourself with the help of the divine of course but you know what I mean always with the divine you wouldn't have made it this far without them um, and your person you know you're gonna if they come to you with this you're gonna be like I can tell this is immature you better be real with me right freaking now because I refuse to let you hurt me again the way you did before and um, I've got I've got this sword here that you gave me so if you're not completely real with me I'm gonna cut you out of my world without batting an eyelash or breaking a sweat how about that let's do it my way now yeah for real that's what you're gonna how you're gonna be kind of approaching the situation I think you'll be a good listener but very I think it's not going to take much time for you to notice that um, this could even be a form of manipulation by confusing you okay breaking breaking you down a little bit making you vulnerable right about here and then promising you the world and then you're hooked you see what I'm saying? It could very well be manipulation because it kind of feels like that a little. It also feels like this person really doesn't know what they're doing because they don't know who they're going up against. You're not going to put up with any crap. I mean, for real. Possible outcome for cancer. What's the possible outcome for my cancers? Yeah, this person's going to throw a lot of different communication at you. Um, I feel like possible outcome, they're going to be studying you. They're going to be watching you. Yeah, I feel like you're going to cut this person off. I really do. I do. Because they're, they're being confusing. You're going to pick up on some kind of manipulation, I feel. Maybe. Maybe for some of you. Um, cause this is a really good, this is a, this is, I can see this as a manipulation tool, this change in how, in this, all this different kinds of information coming at you at all at one point, all at one time. You see what I'm saying? And you're like, wait, wait, wait. See, already they got you talking, right? Manipulation that I could be onto something there. Your person's going to be studying you after you bring down their tower and tell them you're not going to deal with this. Okay? Then they go home and they study you. They look into your life. They want to see if you're with anybody. They're, they want to see if you're saying anything about them. They want, this person watches you anyway 24-7. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If you post something on, on whatever social media you have, this person's seen it within like five minutes, not even. Yep. Yeah. They're watching everything and they, they could do this for a very long time because there's a cobweb here. Okay, what else can you show me for the possible outcome for my cancers? Oh, that's too many. Walking away from something, but that's too many. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to read half of the deck. I mean, come on. Which, you know, I kind of already have. But anyway, yeah, this person, I feel like they're going to be guarded. Um, I feel like they're going to be angry, too. Um, and holding, I feel like they're going to be holding on to you, but holding back communication at the same time. I know that sounds weird. Holding on to your energy tightly. Wanting to watch you every minute. Wanting to see who you're with, this person at this point may even start thinking that you're with someone else because of all of this. So they're going to be suspicious. They're going to be, they're just going to be nosy, really stalking you after that. Um, they're going to be, I see this as a finger, somebody flipping somebody off. They're going to be mad that you turned them down. They're going to be angry. They're going to be hang holding back their communication. So you're going to notice an instant change in communication. You won't hear from this person for a while. But just know that they're watching you. They're going to be watching you, Cancer. Because, you know, watching you makes them happy. 
they're going to be guarded because they think this person's going to be feeling hurt, you know, and and angry because they they were turned down. Their approach wasn't correct. It it wasn't right. And you may communicate that however you will in Queen of Swords energy and that's going to make them even want to flip you off even more. That's basically they're, they're always going to have passion for you here. They can't leave the passion alone. But they're going to be all in remaining in these uh, crossroads energy too because they also can't let go of someone else. Why they're not letting go? Because I don't see that person out here at all. Not at all. All the love's already been dumped out. I, I don't know why they're there. and Possibly money, possibly sex. I'm seeing a lot of both here. Honestly, it could even be both. Yeah. And, you know, this, this situation's just going to come to an end. Because they're they're just you're not they're not at your level anymore. You you've leveled up and they have no 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 yeah I kind of see in this coming to an end here, Cancer. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, let's see what what does your person want to say to you here. I don't want to leave you guys like that, you know? I can't split the deck. I don't want to leave you guys like... But honestly, you're going to be making the call. So I shouldn't feel bad about that because it will honestly be your decision. You're going to be deciding to do that. Communicating your truth, cutting them out because you refuse to let them hurt you because they're not coming to you with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You're making the decision to stop this and end it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing, my babies. All right. Let me split the deck. All right. What does Cancer's person want to say to Cancer? What do they want to say to Cancer? You know, you've waited a long time for this communication, Cancer, okay? Um, you've been through the mud. You've been dragged through the mud. And now that it's finally here, I, I think you're going to find it confusing. I think you're going to find it unrealistic. It's just going to seem off now compared to how high up of a level you are now. But your person says, I can't stop thinking about you and I don't want to stop. Like I said, thinking about you, watching you is their happy place. And um, no, they won't be able to stop thinking about you. Remember what Drew Barrymore said, you know? And uh, she said, what, what was it? Um, You'll think about me every day for the rest of your life. But all that you ask is for them, is for them to get the same consideration that they gave you. And in the end, what's going to happen here is you're going to turn your back on them. Yeah, because that's what they did to you, and they're still not coming to you properly. All right, what else can you show me? What does Cancer's person want to say to them? Cancer's person. What does Cancer's person want to say? I think what I'll do, guys, is I'll take this into the extended. I don't know why yet. I just have a feeling that I should. I can't wait to be with you again. Well, probably are. And why am I so stupid? Yeah, they made a really bad decision. I feel like um, they got themselves committed in a commitment. Um, but they're still like in this, I have to choose, I have to choose kind of thing. And you've already moved forward from that. You've already graduated the last cycle. You're starting a new cycle now. You. They're in the same spot, kind of, where, where they left you. How's that? They are in the same spot where they, where they were when they left you. Yeah. Only more miserable because now they know that that was a bad decision. But you have moved forward going after your happiness, and now this person wants you back. 
Yeah, they're coming in with this communication, but it's just all over the place, kind of. I feel manipulation here. You're going to turn them down. They're going to give you the finger. And this thing is going to end. But it's your it's your decision. You're going to be have the decision in the end, Cancer. You. And I'm proud of you. No matter what you decide, I am proud. And I'll be here with you. So, anyway, Cancers, listen. If you're interested in the extended version, um, you know, I, I do want to pull some mixed emotions, which I always do. But I think... Um, I'm going to do more. I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling like I have to do an extended, but I have to do an extended. So if you want to hear the messages that come out, um, join us in a, in a little bit. The, the link to follow is at the bottom of the description box. It'll take you right to my Patreon. And um, otherwise, Cancers, until next time, right, my babies? Take care of you, my darlings, and peace out.